I am. I'm, man. I'm excited. I just got a new PSP. Oh, it's, Lord. It's 2005. Uh, check it out. Can I see it real quick? Pretty sick, right? I think the only box I've seen of the actual PSP box ones when it came out in America was the uh, first one? edition with, with the, the like the little demo disc like that, the, the five value things, the pack. Yeah, the music one, like the videos and yep. stuff. Yeah, I never owned one of these boxes. Yeah, ones. so I just got a PSP. Yeah. And I figured <laughs> we should do every launch game. Just, you know, had yeah. some GameStop credit. Uh, so much. <laughs> <laughs> So for background, uh, this you know PSP was kind of in a in a time where it was. <laughs> I know you're freaking out. Yeah, man. Right before smartphones, so this device for a short time did exactly what Sony wanted it to do, which mm -hmm. was multimedia functions. Mm -hmm. Like you would bump music on this all the time. I did. Let me play was like really just this. You yeah. know, I played a lot of music on this. You'd be running I ain't around. The, I ain't saying the name because it's probably controversial. <laughs> we just gonna say who it was. You'd bump R. Kelly and yeah, on his PSP. And so you would have a bunch of music. I loved putting like photos and videos on it. So like pre-smartphone era, yeah. this thing did exactly what Sony wanted. We played a ton of games. And so, let's look at some launch titles. You know what's funny too? The first time I ever seen on my PSP, like watching a UMD movie was from you. Yeah. Kung Fu Hustle. Yeah, that's right <laughs> down there. <laughs> I watched the little screen that was dark, and I watched this movie. I got, Sam yeah. I got Samurai Champloo, like four editions on like, yeah, it's four UMDs for like four episodes. Is it really? Something like that. Sam and then, amazing. we got every, every launch game to go for. All right, let's do it. You called this one already. First up. Ape Escape on the loose. Yeah, man. You definitely uh, were a big fan of this one. Yeah. Which I had the PS1 game. I never actually got the PSP re-release. Mm -hmm. So I'm excited to actually check this out because I have it, obviously, but never, right. never played it. It's a great game, man. I loved this game as a kid. So be because I, I didn't get the... I never had the PSP re-release... Like how is it with without the second stick? Oh, uh, because I that was difficult. always yeah that was always like the curious thing for me. I guess is that because it's tied to the face button, so you never played. I feel like it's not a bad thing. The first time playing Apescape was like this experience, not bad at all. You, you just do it quick, but like they had double sticks, so much easier in my opinion. Well, it's just like coming off of like if you've at the time if you played the PS One game, PSP is coming out. One of the big day one games is a re-release of the PS One title. Yeah, but it was heavily associated with the dual shock use. So I'm just curious how it how it feels. By today's standards at least. Are you waiting for him to like <laughs> forget that you're here or you'll stand? Never see, you'll never see me coming, don't worry. <laughs> so this is what we have to do, huh? On PSP. You never saw me coming. <laughs> you never saw me coming. <laughs> you thought I was a fool. That's waiting. that's called patience. Yeah it was man. So you you had this one. Mm -hmm. When did you get your PSP? I don't remember. Uh, December, I think, was it of uh, 06? So, like, uh. When did the first one? Was it came out here? It was 2005, right? Came March, out, right? March 2005. So, I got it in March. I got it, like, that, like, within the, December of that year. Within the. Okay, first year. You had yeah, the PSP. I, I did get it in 2005 because I was. Okay. That was a birthday gift. And then you. And mine's refurbished, so I didn't get the. Uh, you didn't like, get, like, all the value It was, like, the stuff. fake blue. It came with a charger. We had to buy a separate uh, 32 MB memory card, memory stick. And uh, I had like a blue bag in a box, kind of like a like, little blue baggy Third party GameStop bag. bags, yeah, like yeah. <laughs> carrying out some grapes. <laughs> <laughs> carrying out a bag of grapes Literally. from the grocery store. There's a grapes, no, it's a PSP. Yeah, it's a PSP. <laughs> yeah, uh, that's my first one. So then your first, what was the first game though? Was it this? It was this one. Oh, time. you picked this up. Yep, first e one immediately. Mm. Good choice. Yeah, man, beat it in like a couple days. <laughs> I, I don't know how you feel about this game. I really don't. So I'm curious to you tell me how you think. <laughs> Wipeout Wipe Wipe Pure. Wipe Pure. Yeah. Oh my god, I suck. Do you like Wipeout games. games? I enjoy them. <laughs> not good. Not I, good I at them. Not good at them. I well, here's the good games. Well, here's the fun part. Me. PSP. The best thing about PSP, of course. Mm -hmm. Say play with a friend. Oh my. Ad hoc. Oh, we're not doing this. <laughs> well, I mean, it, I'm that's, gonna get cooked, man. But that's the, okay. You will, but <laughs> but uh, that was the big thing about PSP. A friend gets one, you both get the same game. Ad hoc is it called? Play it? It? Yeah, ad hoc. Oh, man. 
Actually, it's been a long time since I played Wipeout. Oh, you're back there. What the heck was that? Oh, <laughs> I think that was me. Was it? I think I uh, shot something I back there. I was slowing down and destroy them items. No, there's weapons uh, turned on. I think I shot something at you. Thanks for that. Yeah, no problem. Take advantage of 4K's innocence. So, well, uh, no, but Wipeout, Wipeout's dope. It's fun. I think it's a great game. I think it's just... Oh, oh okay. Hard. All right. You just boost past me. You know, this is also a good-looking PSP game. Whoa! What was that? Uh, weapon. You shot a rocket at me? Yeah, White Ball's a good game. I'm always impressed by these, like, racing games look so good and they still run so well. Like, for PSP, it's pretty nutty. I would say Wipeout has always been on the more... I don't know if arcade is what I... It's definitely arcade but, like, it demands a lot more precision. Yeah, it does. Versus other racing games, I find. Like, I like arcade racers games, like, you know, my Mario Kart love and addiction, but, like... This is hard. <laughs> For me, this is very difficult. So, I had no idea this was a launch game. In fact, I really I looked at it and went, okay. Which is, uh, this is definitely up your alley. It's <laughs> yeah. Darkstalkers Chronicle. I forgot that. The was a Chaos launcher. Tower. I like doing the research, double checking release dates because mm -hmm. it's kind of a pain to figure out exactly what was day one. Yeah. Uh, this was, and I'm like, no clue. Yeah, Darkstalkers. You're a fighting game fan. I do love fighting this games. This is, once again... Uh, yeah, there's too much Darkstalkers growing uh, up. No? No. Well, I'm going to hand this to you, so... Why well, gotta be me? Because <laughs> I'm not a fighting game person. Well, Street Fighter, Tekken, Guilty Gear. I like how in little asterisks it says, requires individual PSP units with separate <laughs> game discs. <laughs> Everybody buy your own system. Buy, buy your own, own game. Yeah. Watching you play fighting games, it's like, it's, uh, to me, it's magic. Because you just, you just take to it. I love fighting games. I look at better nature than like this. Yeah. And I just play fighting when I lose and fighting. I feel like it wasn't my, like, you know, don't losing a game, I guess you feel like, man, like, I got cheated. But fighting games, like, if I miss an anti-air or miss a button or a combo and loot, it's like, it's my fault. Like, it was me. I, I can't, you know, I should have played better. I got to own better. up to it. Right, you know, I like it because, like, I, I don't like sports games. Like, mad for me personally is, like, the worst competitive to me. I feel like a lot of just, you know, what was that kind of catch? How do you make this pass? You know, more or less the lines for me. Just, are you kidding me? That happened? Next up, uh, we've got another Dynasty Warriors oh, game. Oh, man. And it's called Just Straight Up Dynasty Warriors. Is it like the first one? <laughs> yeah, I... There's no little subtitle to so it. So, running theme on PSP, hmm. a lot of the very first PSP games are just a generic title of a well-known franchise. That's weird. So, yeah, just Dynasty Warriors. And I guess we'll see how this one turns out. Expected loading. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that UMD loading. <laughs> and then you get the little... Tsh, tsh, yeah. Tsh. Oh, there you go. Oh, here we go. Whoa. Oh, okay, we're kicking off here. Oh, it actually looks kind of good. That sidebar will throw me off. I like, guess probably necessary. Oh, map. yeah. You get even a smaller section of the game. How's it feel? Uh, I don't know what I'm doing, first off. Cut the horse. Honestly, I feel like I should probably apologize to any Dynasty Warrior fans. Literally. Because it's just not... I don't think this is going to be a great experience or a good or an easy way to judge it because it's the first time I'm really trying it. All the people kind of running on the screen. You think of a... He's leaving? Oh, nice. Oh, area liberated. Okay. That was fast enough. <laughs> <laughs> it went by quick I thought it would. <laughs> Took him out. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, it's definitely got some little frame rate hiccups. I've seen it was glowing your bar, that I mean something. Yeah, I'm not even <laughs> I'm not even looking at that. I'm kind of just... You got it. Circle. Oh, I got it? I got one guy, too. Mm, I can feel my bones. Gretzky. There's no way. <laughs> Gretzky NHL. No. Another hockey game. We struggled the first. So, <laughs> like I said, just with <laughs> Dynasty Warriors, though, it's just called Gretzky NHL. Ooh, made this game. <laughs> Full on portable hockey. Let's do it. Jesus. Uh, this could not be more iconic. Toronto Maple Leafs. We're very close to Toronto. I go, I go there a lot. Yeah. And the Buffalo Sabres. Uh, the pop in. This is as <laughs> this is as connected as I could be to hockey right now. Literally, let's get this thing going. Yeah, this is hard. Yeah. Um, the uh, defense. Good D. Fight. Yeah. For, Don't square with me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Wait, didn't I say? Oh, what is I did. <laughs> Block. I'm playing punch out. I, dude, I said that I knew oh, I knew my. hockey games did this. Oh man, I <laughs> did you not believe me no. when I said that? <laughs> so cut those. <laughs> Bro, how was the play? Yeah, I had a PS1 NHL game that did that. Oh my goodness. It wasn't mine, it was my uncle's, but like... Tell a lot of play these games to tell you, that is great. Oh lord. You could just fight right away. He did, he's cut to, I'm like, what a cut to? Straight up we, we barely started the match and... I just didn't. Yeah. Oh. How do you shoot that? <laughs> <laughs> You want to fight again? Body blow. <laughs> right, make the Sabres proud. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in a box though. <laughs> uh, some might say this is the best PSP launch game, and I would agree. Luminous. And huge fan. Oh, yeah. I play it all the time. Sometimes I even go back to the original, but there's the remaster on PS4. Mm -hmm. And uh, so what's your experience with Luminous? Would you, when did you first get it or play it? I first played it from you. Really? Because you had it. No. I exposed you to it? You did. I never played it. I was a Tetris kind of guy, so I saw that, you know. Yeah, huh. you, you played it for me. I could have <laughs> sworn you, like, knew about it or played it on your own. I completely forgot that, like... Nope. It was, it was definitely you, because I've never on my way to seeing it. You talked about it like, being a thing. I was like, I don't know what you're talking about, Luminous. Or Luma, I call it. I always pick the little cat right here. To you. Have to. So I, I have an interesting story with this game. Yeah. At first, like, you know the PSP value pack? We just talked about that, right? Like, mm -hmm. it came with the demo disc. Yep. Not even a demo disc. It came with, like, a bunch of, like, videos loaded on a UMD. So you, you didn't even get to play them. But Luminous was on there, and I remember, you know, watching that video, and I'm like, you know, PSP so cool, it's this, you know, console quality games on the go, it's like, why would I get a, a puzzle game? Like, that's, I, at first I hated it. I was like, I'm not gonna drop 40-something dollars on a puzzle game. Yeah. There's Need for Speed, there's Tony Hawk, there's, you know, there's, the shooting games are coming out. Why would I get a puzzle game? Mm -hmm. So I swore off getting this game, but the reviews were like really good. Mm -hmm. So eventually I, for whatever reason, had a change of heart and I decided to get it and it's so addictive. Like there's other stuff like this too, right? Like Dr. Mario and- Yep. Like I, and I- Puyo Puyo is definitely one like, yeah. I'm kind of worried about too. I just don't, none of those games stick to me that well. And that's why I had that sort of like preset opinion around PSP's launch of like a puzzle game. Why would I do that? Like, why would I, you know? Yeah. It was such an exciting time for 3D graphics on a handheld. And I just, I scoffed at the idea of a, of getting, you know, dropping 40 bucks on a puzzle game. I don't blame you, man. Definitely a point where I wouldn't pay for something like this. I knew, like, I knew it got a little bit lower price. It's definitely one of the games like, I catch like, okay, 20. Uh, yeah. I'll take it up, you know? And like, that's what did it, I think. I don't remember exactly, but I, I know for a fact that it, it, it was likely something where it was affordable at that point. Right. <laughs> oh, my God. Ridge Racer. No. Like I said, Ridge Racer shows up on a lot of PlayStations, a lot of Nintendo, and it's here day one on PSP. Racer is something I'm never good at. I know you're not good at I keep it. Saying, I'm gonna keep saying it more because it's just, just not a skill that I have. I just, I like how the first time you tried it on PlayStation 3, you were just like, oh, there's there's no button for drifting, you just do it. Yeah. <laughs> you can just call Ridge Racer. There's no subtitle. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> <You> there's, <laughs> that's a, there's, what's the game called? There's like four or five games in here. It's just like, they're existing franchises, but they just decided to like do the main name. Right. It's okay. <laughs> He's trying. The UMD's a little cracked, but it's playable. Oh, man. There we go, baby. Nope. That ain't happening to me. <laughs> well, it's smooth, though. I think it's 60. It's, it's just, it's... These games are such a great benchmark on day one. And I think that's why they were always there day one. It's just as a really nice showpiece and sort of a safe bet. If you're in racers, at least. If you're not, then there's there's no reason to get it. But right. I mean, PSP. Look at this for PSP. It's fantastic looking. Yeah, it is. We've got one that uh, I know you're gonna like this. Cause why wouldn't you? <laughs> yeah. Tony Hawk's Underground Two uh, Remix Two. 
I put a lot of time into this one. So excited. Mm -hmm. And uh, day one title. So we got story, classic, Wi-Fi, high score. Just play a game of horse. Just do horse, man. I'm playing. Hey, pass me in. All right. Man's confident right away. Yeah. How do you get off the board? I hit up and down. He just got off it. Like I tried to do a manual up and down real quick, and he just oh. he got off. Well, I took an H on that one. Ah, they said I wouldn't win. Don't get comfy. I know. I know what you can do. <laughs> I know what you're capable of. Get nice, nice board slide. <laughs> I tried to get more. Nice board slide. See the fall right here. I land it first. Son of a. Got cocky. Right off the bat. I didn't have to do all that. You only scored like 800. I did nothing. Son of My combos keep ending. I can't get manuals off, dude. Get some good footage. Oh, you guys stop. See it. <laughs> no, this, it, this, it shouldn't be like this. What is happening? Just take it. Just go take it. <laughs> I was gonna Don't take get it. greedy. I was going to take it. Son of a... I finally won. <laughs> I don't know why I just like insist on doing like a crazy. Co Who am I trying to impress? No. <laughs> I already know I'm not good. Want to do it again? <sighs> yeah. Metal Gear Acid? Yeah, I don't know yeah. your game. That's a pretty big launch title. Or a, certainly an IP that was like, you know, oh, Metal Gear. People, they won PSP. My brother loved Metal Gear games. So did my uh, cousin. But I never got into them. Never got in the franchise? I played one, I think Snake Eater. And I was always like, I want Sly Cooper. <laughs> my stealthy <laughs> game. <laughs> well, I was also a kid. So I was like, I just want Sly Cooper instead. It's definitely a Metal Gear game. It's been been nine minutes. <laughs> we we haven't done anything yet. <laughs> you know what it, it reminds me of? Mm -hmm. um, Chain of Memories. Yep, like how that changed the formula. I bought it as yeah. a kid and I was so like, lost. I actually really like Chain of Memories. So I, I get how if you love the universe, you don't mind a dramatic gameplay shift. You just kind of want to spend more time in that, in that game world. No, I get it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, just went for it, cold blood. He's faint, he's dead. You just got one more guy to worry about. He's more pride than the other ones, alright? He has to do like eight steps, okay. You have a stun grenade, don't you? I'm gonna go to that stealthy it said. I don't worry, just... Yeah, but it would be stealthy because he doesn't know you're there. Well, never mind, now he does. I don't know if he'll follow me now that I did that. You just do it the old fashioned way. Why does he feel in that gap? I thought he was let me go by. He just. Oh, Where'd he go? He just. What? He's gone? Yeah, he just disappeared. I'll just leave then. I, said I, couldn't do I it. feel like that was just the worst way to do this, and you still accomplished it. <laughs> he just vanished to a void of nothing. He just left. Yeah. NBA. <laughs> I remember that one, But, too. like I said, generic title, it's just called NBA. Yep. And, if you notice here, we got a brand new minty copy, and I thought I'd let you have the honors here. Open it up. Break the seal. Who is that, Ray Allen? I think it's Ray Allen on the cover. Pop that in while I look at the manual. Oh, we can't forget though. We play this again. <laughs> <laughs> Got to compete. Did you have any of these as a kid? No. On I'll... PSP though. Mm -mm. I think I had the most. I think it was later two K. Which one I couldn't tell you. It was like maybe it was a nine or ten. I had them Ooh, here. that was clean. That was like these were two pointer. Yeah, I had those on the PSP. Not really these uh. Sony branded ones. Yeah, you never, you never had a Sony one, did you? No. Worst thing I had was live. What? <laughs> live. Yeah, I had live. He's a terrible two-point shooter. This is <laughs> what the. That was all red too. Why would he not shoot? You were messing around. That's where. You, oh, you get a. What is this meter? Why did you get a free throw. What is this meter? What is that? What is that meter? Did it just like? <laughs> I can't see. Is it just you have to like hit where you want to throw it? Yeah, like if. Oh, it timed out. So who won? You won by default. Nice. Don't want this. A win's a win. So when you bought a PSP value pack, mm -hmm. you got that UMD with a bunch of trailers on it. Yep. You also got Spider Man 2 on UMD, if you remember like at launch. Yeah, I remember now. Yeah. And a launch title was Spider Man 2, ah. the game. <laughs> So we've actually got a um, Spider-Man game to, to play through. I'll be Spider-Man fan, so you Oh, you want to play Spider-Man too? I'm going to read for a reason. Hey, all right. I've seen this coming. You're right. <laughs> I'm just kidding. 
Yeah, so the the one thing I you know I've always heard about this game is that it's one of the more unique PSP versions because mm -hmm. of course it's a licensed property. It came out on PS2, Xbox, everywhere basically, but it was a more bespoke experience on PSP. Like I guess there's a unique version here to play versus the the console versions because they knew they weren't going to get away with it on PSP. Oh yeah, I mean I understand why. Just cause like I said, PS2 and probably for that time was probably still really intense graphically. And PS I, I, yeah, PS2 a, still had a lot of overhead versus what PSP yeah, could manage. Yeah, that game probably took a lot of power to run. And that's the problem with a lot of these PSP games is that some devs, you know, tried to, like, go that mile. Like, some of these games were coming, they're, they're straight ports from the PS2 versions. Yeah. And so the complaint was, like, yeah, like, it's okay, but you're missing this mode, that mode. You're missing, now it's down to this many things on screen versus PS2. I don't like those people even back in the day, like, kind of even, like, sometimes now. If you make these games for bite-sized consoles, come with, uh, you know, expectation. It's going to take a hit somewhere. It can't be the same game you thought you were going to Well, hit. Switch sees this nowadays all the time. Yeah, like, yeah. I expect a lower frame rate graphics because, you know, but it costs. I get to play this game portably. Mm -hmm. Like my Skyrim game, you know, The Witcher, though, looks worse. But it's the full game that you're probably going to get just at a cost of a few things. Yeah, you can get it on Switch, but there's going to be some drawbacks. Right, so this game, was, I think, is a, it's smart. I mean, why make a game that won't run properly or might play not play well because of... You're trying to copy a game you made before, make your own thing. It, it doesn't, the gameplay does not look very snappy. No, it's it definitely looks, delayed pressing. <laughs> it looks uh, very sluggish. He, he dodged my attack, close range. It doesn't seem like punches are connecting that well. Now, where those guys run off? <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, that's, oh, that's cool. <laughs> I didn't see it coming. <laughs> oh, that was a launch game? Yeah, NFL Street <laughs> uh, 2 Unleashed. So that's actually interesting that this was the only option day one for a football game. Yeah. Um, no Madden. Mm -hmm. Just this. You played these ones before? Yes, I have. Do you like them? I love those games. Oh, really? NFL Street, NBA Street. So this better than Madden? Personally, for me, yeah. Okay. I, I will take a Madden any day of the week. Hit my top like sports games of, like when I was a kid. This would be it. But you never got it for a portable, huh? No, I had the PS2 version, so I didn't really see those. You know, I said you never got it. Yeah, I just, I don't know. I I, I think this stuff was always suited for the console. I feel like a better fact, like, you know, this is more of a party game to me. Like, I'd play more with my cousins and my brother than anything else and just be single playing, just playing the game. Yeah, like, so if if you didn't have somebody else that had a PSP and, and this game, like, how are you... You weren't playing this alone, right? Right, it's not an online play, really, to it. Is there? I don't remember the PS2 one. Oh, I mean, it. sure, but like PS2 one, they didn't have it. I'm out, me and back in the day, it was no. an ad hoc infrastructure. Early 2000s, I'm not sure, but yeah, you basically just, I just played with my family. That's what I did. Just down south in the summer, we go on there and play it, and my brother played with you know him. And I got game break. Let's go. What's that do? Uh, makes you pretty much unstoppable. <laughs> it makes you unstoppable. How do I do it? I just slam into it. Here him. it is. Yeah, watch this. Oh. Watch this. <laughs> it gets so stupid. Watch this. <laughs> <laughs> it's so dumb. It's just like, get off me. Literally, it's what it is. just breaks the game. <laughs> That's why I like it so When I bought my launch PSP, this was what I got. Need for Speed Rivals. So I had a launch model, but uh, walked away with one game. Mm -hmm. This was it. Is that the third racer we've played so far? Yeah. Yeah, so. yeah so... Well, look at the amount of races on this launch console. Decent amount of options, but um, considering I loved Underground, mm. this I was so excited for. I'm like, yo, an Underground game for PSP. Yeah. Yes. Right now, I put in my original memory stick, and mm. I'm going to see... I'm going to go to my Underground and see what's in here. <laughs> I got home with it. I got home with it. It's got my hometown. Blake the footage. Blake the take on the tape. Hold up. Uh, total seat time, 28 hours. You're really, my god. Dude. 95%. Okay, so I didn't fully complete it. I had age, but it's not the right age. That's not my right age. I know. <laughs> it's like all that much age. Hold on, I gotta check uh, my pocket garage, which I don't know why they have to call it that. Oh my, look at my car throw. Top speed. Your points. This is sick. The yellow was funky. <laughs> what you got? Loading. Tuning. They had the little screen, huh? Just tuning something up for you. It's basically the same as one on PS2. 
No, this was definitely kind of that like, like Spider Man. Like it's a 1.5 version where it's its own, its oh, own it? thing. Oh, yeah, okay. I was curious. Cause I hit the, the subtitles, but this is like kind of like the same game. Like, I, yeah, it wasn't a port, but like this is all like, like just UI elements and the races are all very similar. Yeah, like, it's like a buy racing. I think for me is basically for like party reasons. You know, if you want to come play, you know, Mario Kart. I actually went by Cruise and Blast recently, but she didn't pull the trigger. They not that expensive. It's just yeah, that's a fun game. I heard it's really good. I was like, I'm not gonna play it by myself though. That's the issue. No, they, yeah. <laughs> but need, you know? but I would always consider Need for Speed a single player racer. Mm -hmm. You don't have to play alone, obviously, but I feel it's the most accessible to play alone because they do. They try to give you like a cheesy plot line, and there's like, you know, an actual career to advance through. Same with Burnout, but. Other racers, I do feel inclined to play them with other people. Yeah, that's what it is. He said racing games for me. Like I said, just, I don't picture myself playing a single player. Tiger Woods. <laughs> Which one is this? Just PGA Tour. Is it the same if you made the last one? It but is? Like, yeah. Look, it's just Tiger Woods PGA Tour. That's There's no year on it. <laughs> and they make the numbers. 2 EA does for the games. Yeah, EA typically does that. So. Is there any like people hitting you know physics? <laughs> oh, you mean like hitting somebody in the shin? Yeah, man. Oh, I hope so. Thank God that I don't believe in it. That'd be great. I'm not just... <laughs> How are we doing, son? Are we looking I, like I, me? I need that beard, man. I'm, I'm thinking pretty. <laughs> I need a side by side at that point. Brown eyes. There we go. Is that me? I'm looking pretty good, man. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> yeah, come on, this is ridiculous. Oh Lord, gold crowns. Yeah. Oh, now we're getting this, a little... This is where the pressure kicks in. Yeah, I forgot that, like, this is pretty thorough. Looks like you, bud. Upper body. Upper arms. <laughs> T-flex. Hey, I don't believe it. <laughs> I'm like a Sam's character. <laughs> I know. <laughs> if, we're, if we're being real, that's what I really look like. This is a dual wood. Stick. Yep. Yeah, it is. Like, I'm curious. Look at me. Me peering out there. <laughs> you. Are you serious? <laughs> it's close. It was like a straight shot. Oh, I, I hit it as hard as I could. Let's get a look at what we're doing here. That is a little fuzzy. Okay. Oh, because it's like the zoom. It's like oh, that's okay. yeah. Like, What's happened? It's like a visual effect that that does. Oh, baby! <laughs> what was that so intense? So clean, because I hit it perfectly. Oh my god, I did that. That's what it's... So good. Yeah, let's go crazy. <laughs> I broke a hole in time. Slow down for me. I've never seen that before. <laughs> well, if you've played Tiger Woods no. games, that that's typical. This just threw me off. This game's break. Well, maybe not. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> I told you. <laughs> He just doesn't even bend his knees, he's, nothing. He's trying to get paid, leave. I was trying to get money, jeez. I think it's hilarious. Like, it's oh, why? Watch the way he hits. Yeah, he just swings, stands straight up. Let's <laughs> get the shit over with. Dude, why is that animation so poor? Why are golf games so fun? Why is that animation so bad? Like, look how he bent his knees. Twisted Metal. Oh my god. Head on. No. You remember this one, right? I Twisted do. Metal? Yes. Did you forget about it? No. So you knew this was coming? I think I have the last couple ones, honestly. Two copies. Uh, I, I am not good uh, at this game. Yeah, but you know what, though? It's definitely like this is a multiplayer game. I through, agree. And, through and through. Yeah, man. Even though there is like a story and lore in like this universe. I, you combine things I'm not good at. Driving as a whole and just the shooter, you know, battle royale car aspect, you know. Have you owned any of these before? I own the PS3 one. Didn't play You bought the 20, uh, 2012 Twisted Metal? Got it for a cheap price, never played it. Really? Not, not gonna lie to you. I'm like, oh, good deal. Just sat on my show for a There's a lot of games like that. Yeah, this game is wildly fast. I don't remember being as fast as a kid. Yeah, it's moving quick. Like whipping the turns like so quickly. I mean, it's good if you want to like react sharply, but man, you're not used to it. I'll admit it's been a while since I played Twisted Metal. I must say the game controls really smooth. The frame rate's great. Yeah, it looks it, good. I would, yeah, amongst the uh, the chaos, it's 
It does run very well. Yeah, my head and butt is your organ. There we go. Gotcha. Yeah, this is like a far cry from everything we've been playing so far. We kind of had a string of bad games so far. Yeah, in this game. Performance-wise. Yeah, it runs beautiful, man. It looks good. It runs beautiful. Like, if I was a twist middle, I think I'd be happy playing this game. Like, no delay in button pressing. It just plays great. Yeah, you you knew this one was coming. Yeah, man. Untold Legends, Brotherhood uh, Brotherhood of the Blade. Did you buy this new launch, though? Yeah, so... I learned it because of you told me about it. Rivals was my launch game that I bought, but I th I can't remember exactly, but I think mm -hmm. this might have been my second game. Yeah, because I had no one told what that just was until you told me about it. And this is, like, way more top-down. Because mm -hmm. we just looked at the uh, Dark Kingdom on PS3, which uh, the viewpoint was a bit different there. Yeah, it felt more like trying to make it open, like, 3D, where, like, I think these games were better being uh, top-down looking. I kind of like the very corridor aspect of it. Yeah, you can't really see ahead of you. You kind of just go in each room looking for loot and looking around, where, like, that whole 3D view can see a thing in front of you, I think it's kind of... I'm rather to like the style of the game is. Uh -huh. Maybe my judgment was a little cloud clouded. It's been a while since I last played this. What would you say it's still fun? It looks I I'm not gonna lie, like seeing it again is cool. And I'm inclined to like <laughs> play it play it again later. <laughs> you you just said that you think the last game is Grand Theft Auto? I'm going Grand Theft Auto. Could I be wrong? Boy, I... you are gonna be disappointed. World Tour Soccer. When did GTA come out? <laughs> Not on launch day. What was it? Well, I don't know. It was a little bit after. But, no, I, I mean, let's get it. excited about this sealed new copy of World Tour Soccer on PSP. I would never... Is this not a 989 game? <laughs> yeah. It, 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 <laughs> they're consistent. I give them that. Yep. I mean, I can't knock the fact that this is, like, the world's largest sport. You know, it's just not big here. I and and even then, I'm not a sports person to begin with. What was that? Yeah, I, I still don't know soccer enough to play it. There we go, baby. Don't so you say this is fun? A, oh, that's a loaded question. That's a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I, that I mean, it's not for me, it's not for you, but uh, this was your only option if you wanted a you know, football game on day one. Surprised there's not more licensed games on the PSP. I think it just, you know, you got NFL Street, you didn't get a Madden, which is weird, you didn't get a FIFA. You know, no. you, got, you got Tiger Woods. <laughs> well, they all came. They all came eventually. But right, which is crazy, you know. I just really think PSP, like, maybe isn't the most, uh, isn't suited for these kind of games. Because you, you want to play them with somebody. All right, that was everything. Mm -hmm. What'd you think? Pretty good, man. I'm surprised how many, like I said, PSP games they had are a different genre of games. Like, you had a, I guess, a preference you wanted to play something sport-wise. You had your action. You had your, that your raisin. Yeah. You had, you know, your, like, tactical RPG in terms of, like, the card game from Metal Gear. That one's pretty unique. I think Untold's pretty unique, and, well, it's good this time around, or I, mm -hmm. I feel like it's fun. Um, and for, like, a Sony's brand new portable, there was also mm -hmm. multiplayer stuff right off the bat. Yep. Tony Hawk was great, because that was kind of a back-and-forth thing, so even mm -hmm. if you had one PSP, you could share that with somebody. Yeah, definitely a strong lineup for a handheld, like, to, especially when they first hand out the gate. Mm -hmm. Came out strong. There were a lot of things you can pick up and play and say, I day when I want this. I want this for the friends. One's for me. Yeah. Something long for, you know. So then, the ultimate question mm -hmm. you get a PSP, three games. Which ones you picking? That's not fair. I'm going to pick the games I already know is good. <laughs> uh, Ape Escape is my first game ever as a kid. Ape I'd Escape. probably go uh, Tony Hawk Seconds. I love Tony Hawk games. Okay. I never had NFL Street, but I still go with it. So go with NFL Street. Yeah, it's just good fun. Just good, make you smile. You did have fun with that Stupid one. Stupid fun. Yeah. Uh, for me, I think I would go... It's weird, because, like... Well, Luminous. Yeah. Need for Speed Underground, because that mm. is what I had gotten. Mm -hmm. And I guess the automatic choice would also be Untold Legends, because that is close to what I got shortly after Rivals. So my first three, I guess, were sort of already determined, but... Um, having played the full lineup now, I think there's actually three or four more things that I would have really enjoyed mm -hmm. had I had the budget at the time. Those better than mine is though. Mine's more, I guess, like two of them are pretty much all ports. The ones I picked. <laughs> other, nothing like really new. It's all hey, like the same. If they're fun, they're fun. Yeah, I give you that one. I feel like it's more, it was more varied than mine was. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, yet again, Terrell, thank you very much for appearing. Thanks for having me. It was a pleasure to come by and see the people, you know what I mean? I know. Everyone really likes you. You're so wholesome. 
Thank you for being my friend for all this long. It was a long time. We're a bird at this point. (laughs) (laughs) You gotta deal with me. (laughs) We'll probably work on more PlayStation platforms over time, but until then, that's it. If you haven't just yet, please consider subscribing for the best PlayStation news, reviews, and updates that are here on YouTube. You can also follow me on Twitter, at Mystic Ryan, and that is it. I will see you all in my next video. You take it easy.